Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Not Too Comic Book. This being the show where we're talking about TV shows that are adaptations of comic books. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the series premiere of Connect. A great series premiere. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. The fact of the matter is they kind of threw you into the deep end with this, and I wasn't expecting it to start off like that. Because I've never read the, mon uh, the webtoon that this is based on. But I did watch the trailer for it, but I wasn't expecting him to kind of get right into it. Like the episode opens, it's like, oh, and he's getting kidnapped and they're going to chop him up for uh, basically selling his body, I guess, on like the black market or whatever. I wasn't expecting that. And when the sur uh, the surgeon was like having the nightmare, I thought like, oh, that's really happening. I was like, oh, the guy's body's piecing itself back together. I was like, oh, I was like, did the thing already happen that made you like that? And we find out context later on. He's been like this since he's a kid. We don't know if this is like something invaded his body, why he has this. Obviously, we're only focusing on uh, Dong Su, the uh, main protagonist. We don't know what this family situation is like, whether this is a byproduct of dad or what the hell that is. So there's that element to it, but you know, I was like, oh, okay. So I would, because at first the surgeon was having that nightmare, and I was like, oh, he must have like that must have actually happened. You sliced up the body parts, you threw them away, Hong Doom pieced himself together. Wasn't even the case. He was in. He did taken Dong Su's eyes out, but then Dong Su like came back to life, like. Because his eyes were still active and to the point like there was still water pouring from them. I don't know if those were supposed to be like, right, because his, because like his eyes, the liquid's just coming from his eyes because his eyes are technically crying. I don't know where your, like, are your, aren't your, are your tear ducts in your, are they connected to like parts of your retina? Or is it like um, your eye sockets and stuff? Is it connected there or is it just it, like in, actually inside your skull? Like in your, like I don't know where your tear ducts actually are. But I didn't, that, when all that clear liquid came out and then there was blood, I was like, is that his eye? Because like the coming back together thing is super painful. And it's also interesting too, finding out like the limp, like he doesn't have like, oh my God, my arm sliced off. Oh, let me grow a new one. This ain't like, Deadpool growing new legs and being a slow, uh, you know, starting off with baby legs. That whole shtick from was it Deadpool two? You're not you're not getting that. It's his. He only gets one body and he can't like fully like like if he loses a limb, he's lost that limb unless he reconnects it. So now that he like and he has I guess for his power to be in full effect, he has to be within close enough proximity to the missing body part for it to like automatically reconnect. I just thought that was so interesting. I mean, I guess like it kind of reminds me it's more parasitic based, but it kind of reminds me if you play, you know, the Resident Evil game 7 and 8, the whole like, yeah, oh, your hand just got sliced off, don't worry about it. Touch it, pour some pour some uh, liquid on it. You're golden. It kind of reminds me of that. It's that kind of healing factor. So, but I do think that it's a powerful healing factor uh, because he can heal from anything naturally, but like severed limbs if they're too far away from him. So if someone wanted to kill him, all they'd have to do is, well, it wouldn't kill him necessarily. It just, you'd have to scatter his body to different places. He'd be alive, but he'd have to like slowly like roll and piece himself together. But so he, I mean, who knows like the full extent of like if he's zombie rules, you destroy the brain type of situation. We've only seen like his body get mangled and messed up. You know, like the, the memory he has as a kid falling out the tree and breaking his body and his body like snapping back into place. That's the most extensive we've seen. Well, I mean, I guess arguably when like his body was getting cut open for the, um, uh, when they were going to sell his organs and stuff, his body like healed bad. So maybe you make the argument that was worse. Either way, the real, um, so that's a thing of just like, I, like I said, I thought that was something that was going to happen to him. It's like, no, it's already happened to him. It's been a part of him since he was a kid. Who knows if he was born with it, got it as a kid. But yeah, so he's been missing his eye and little by little he's been noticing. Like by the time we get our first instance of it in the show, he'll be like, wait, kind of like, who is this? Like. Well, it does seem like he is figuring, Kyle was wondering, like, is that the first time it's happened? Because it's, well, it probably hasn't been that long since his eye was taken. And it does seem like it is triggered by certain things. The person who has his, his eyes name is, uh, was it Jin Siop? It's like, if something's around him that triggers something connected to Dong Su, it ends up triggering that connection. He feels the pain because I think it's the eye trying to pull itself out of, uh, Jin Siop and try and find its way back to Dong Su. It's like, it's forever 
pulling, but like in some points it's kind of just in a an inert state. But the moment it's like trigger and the connections like strong, that's when like the tugging's kind of it's almost like the eyeball's like trying to tug its way out of your 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 eye socket. Um, either way. I think they covered it in a trailer, but it's been a while since I saw the trailer, so I don't remember what the full... Like, so far, it's just like, man, like, he has a crazy healing factor, but beyond that, like, how can he can he utilize that to fight? He's not much of a fighter. It's just like, right, those guys... I even love, like, those guys or, like, those kids are, like, messing with that, uh, old man, and Dong Su steps in the way, and I don't know if they know about his circumstance or not, because they were almost telling him not to get involved, and then the guy pulls out a knife on him and no, it's that typical thing of like no one else went hey man whoa 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 you're crazy pulling out a knife on him it's like oh yeah we're messing with him ha you want to get in our way yeah you're gonna get killed and then like he slices at don't do it don't just stands here lets his ear get sliced off a little the dudes be like why didn't you move and then you're just like then like his eye patch falls off shows that he has no eye and it's like oh my god this guy's a monster which sadly don't sue's heard that ever since he was a kid so he, he's probably done a lot to try and hide that from the world what he is. That's why I'm like, I don't know if the, the couple, like, he's staying with. I don't think those are his parents. I think those are just people he works for. It's like, they probably, uh, pay him a little bit here and there to kind of work around. Kind of, looks like kind of, I think it is a junkyard, uh, or junk shop or junkyard, but I think mm, he probably gets paid by them. And I don't know if they fully know his circumstances. What's interesting though is there's that girl who helps him later on in the episode. And it's like, she was looking. She's like, right, I want to know if anyone knows anything about Connect. Connect seems to either be the thing that's inside of him making it possible, making him a connect, or, you know, which obviously there's layers upon layers to that titling of the show because it's like, right, connect, like his body parts can reconnect themselves, but there's like some, also the connection between him and his right eye inside of this serial killer's head. So obviously there's many, many different layers to it. But the girl knows so much about it. She's like, oh, I got to see this for myself. Slices his leg, sees that his leg heals. That's awesome. Oh, you need to get out of here? I thought that's what he was automatically going to do. It's like, oh, well, it's a dead end. Oh, I'm just going to have to jump because I know I'm going to survive it. In fact, she pushes him off. I'm like, you know I have super healing, but that's still super dickish of you. But the moment he's kind of like getting away, she's just kind of like, welcome. And I'm like, what does that mean? What do you mean, welcome? Like, why did... Is it is she like him in some shape or form? And she was trying to find her kindred spirit. Like, hey, you're just like me. Like, or maybe she saw something from a young age. Maybe not necessarily Dong Su, but maybe it's like um something similar. Uh, cause I also I thought it was meta because she was like, oh yeah, I'm working on like my web novel or something like that. And I was like, that's is that written like meta like that in the in the webtoon itself too? Because, you know, a webtoon being kind of like a web novel. So, like, I don't know if that was supposed to be, like, a like a, a meta, like, thing of, like, yeah, it's a web it's a webtoon about someone making, not necessarily a webtoon, but, you know, maybe there is a differentiate, differentiate, difference, I should just say that, a difference between a, a webtoon and a web novel. I, I would assume not, but, you know, maybe there is differences. So, we don't know what her whole deal is. I do think it's so interesting because I thought like the whole focus was going to be on a serial killer. Obviously, a big part of it is. But what's interesting, too, is that because uh, it wasn't until those students uh, ended up um, running their mouth about like, oh, my God, that guy with the missing eye and that guy grabs him. And I love that when you notice that he grabs him by the hair. I'm like, right, because I think and maybe this is just an Asian thing in general, but I feel like. I feel like it's specifically a Korean thing, but someone could be like, no, it's kind of an Asian thing in general. I think like when it comes to physical stuff, like an elder grabbing a kid or smacking a kid around, it's a lot more acceptable, I think. I mean, I don't know if that's just, I don't know if that's something that's changing with the times. I feel like that, I mean, and this could be my mis, my, my misunderstanding, you know, because once again, it could just be a misconception I have about like, uh, Korean culture, but I feel like I've seen that more related to Korean material. Once again, it's been like TV shows and like uh, webtoons and manhwa, where like I read a manhwa where a teacher like slapped the ever living shit out of her, her student, you know. So that's why I feel like they're a little bit more okay with that. It's just like, hey, I mean, he, he's also a, a 
a bad guy, so, like, why would he care about pleasantries? Like, oh, you kids got some information, let me grab you by your hair and make you look at me and, like, tell me what you saw. And I was like, why would he? It's like, oh, you're part of the people that kidnapped a dog, Sue, and was going to sell his organs until he got up off the operation table and literally ran away. And now they're actually excited because they're like, oh, my God, if that surgeon wasn't out of his damn mind... A guy that can't die? Oh my god, he'll sell for so much money. It's like, wow. You know, so... They're not creeped out at all. They're just like, this is an awesome business opportunity. So that's what this all kind of stems from. The main guy in charge seems to be kind of... Uh, that's what he kind of wants uh, Dong Su for. So... He showed up... Uh, Dong Su actually showed up at the uh, place that they took him... Because he was hoping, like, right, this is where my eye was taken. Because I was like, oh, did they already, like, why didn't... At first I thought, because he didn't have his eye and he had gotten up from the table, I was like, oh, they must have, like, shot him again. And he only had enough time to put in one eye. It's like, no, he had to escape and he didn't have time to pick up his other eye, which he majorly regrets. Um... So we got so we got that angle of things. Not only do we have the serial killer, we also have the... the uh, black market organ people and then we also have um the cop side of things where we get introduced to detective Choi, and um i love one of the other detectives is like yeah he gets the nosebleed thing i was like what and even the young detective's like huh what is that about it's like anytime he comes across something he believes this is important or whatever he has a nosebleed which we see at the very end of the episode it's like ah ah see I was like, wow, that's interesting. I mean, obviously, like, once again, we're, like, we're in that hyper, hyperbolized world of, like, a, uh, an, um, a manga or, like, a manga. Like, obviously, it's, like, normal rules don't, like, go, but it's just, like, yeah, that's kind of an interesting characteristic of, like, yeah, when he stumbled across something, him to believe to be true or important, like, his nose will bleed. So that's interesting. And it's just a known commodity that his, uh, other cops will joke about it, but it's like, yo, when the time comes, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. That means it's, it's something important. But uh, focusing on our serial killer, Jin Siop, uh, his thing is making a whole display of people's body, which almost seems very, it reminds me, like, seeing it, like, obviously he goes about it a very, like, artistic way. It reminds me of, oh, God, what's what's his face? Ste was it Stefan Valentino? Was that his name? I can't remember. He's the camera dude. Uh, which is kind of a, it, that's a whole eye thing within itself, but it reminds me of the, the camera dude from The Evil Within 2, if you've played that. I want to say it's Stefan Valentino, whatever, it's the dude, like, who has the camera thing. That dude, it kind of reminds me, because he's that artistic serial killer, and he kind of has a similar thing of, like, displaying bodies. Obviously, they go about it, like, because of his powers inside of STEM, like, how he's able to kind of go about that is actually, it's fucked up, but it, there is, like, you're like, oh, but, like, from a, horror perspective it's actually pretty tight um which i is interesting enough that parallels with this because um jin siop has gained a lot of international um attention because of like the murders he's committed and like the artwork because they're like man this guy's so terrible he's a monster but damn is that artwork good it, it's that i love when it was just kind of like oh americans and the guy was like no that's german and he's like, uh, this is in French. He's like, shut up and just tell me what it says. I love that. It's like, I mean, it's probably one of those things where it's like, right, probably Korean's all you really know. You probably don't know any other languages. And if you see it written down, you're just like, I don't know, American. It, it probably, in your eyes, you're just like, yeah, that, nah, that looks like that could be American. So now it's German. It's like, you're like, yeah, that just shows you're just not what, it's just such an interesting thing. Cause I'm like, if you probably wrote down some languages in like wrote them down, I'd be like, you speak it, I might be like, okay, I know what that is. I mean, I probably won't, I, I probably, a very low percent chance I'll get it right. Written down, there's probably even less of a chance, you know? So I'm not going to give them too much flack for that, not being able to distinguish between um, American English specifically. I'm, I'm probably English in general, but just assuming he saw that and he's just like, oh, American. It's like, no, it's German. So I'm not going to catch him too much flack for that. I just, but I just thought that was such an, I was like, oh, that's so, that's so interesting. Um, the other person I was going to make comparison to, Jin Siop's whole thing, uh, like, just the serial killer element of it and, like, the display and stuff like that, it kind of really, if you've ever seen this show Hannibal on NBC, it reminds me of a lot of the killing in Hannibal. Like, Hannibal had, like, a lot of, like, 
artistic stuff like that that was kind of like wild and like it's just in this case it's like right you're doing this to these bodies you're putting them on display everyone thinks it's like oh man this is just a display until the bodies start bleeding so the first victim um i think the girl that was looking for the connects i think she was there and obviously uh you know not too far away in that at that same crime scene was um thong Su. And for them, it's like, right, there's no full connection between the victims enough that they could, like, set up a profile of, like, it's almost like this person, if they were thinking, like, right, it'd be, it'd be one thing if it's, like, simply, like, oh, it's a sex offender or something. It's like, no, this person's gentle. I believe it was the third crime scene that we saw. It seems like one of his coworkers, which there might be something between him and his coworker. Uh, maybe kind of a thing of she likes him and maybe he kind of keeps his distance thing or maybe he likes her too. I don't know. You're just immediately like, she's going to become one of his future victims. Now, whether she, she's a potential victim, whether like she becomes a full blown victim of, oh, she does get killed by him or not. We'll have to wait and see, but it's also interesting too, that there's this whole element about like Dong Su being like this musician or whatever. And this guy is saying, cause I think it's one, it's like a video he put online, but he didn't show, he just showed himself playing the guitar. He didn't include his face. And this guy on the street was doing the song, but he changed it. Cause he was like, yeah, the audio was kind of bad and the singing. Was, and he's like, Oh, it wasn't that bad. Was it? And he goes back and plays it. And just ironically enough, the uh Jin Siop, it's got like uh YouTube like or the yeah kind of like a YouTube or whatever on autoplay and it kind of happens to play Dong Su's song and it triggers his eye and even the um an, a musician named Z recommended it on like his Twitter or something and uh Jin Siop's coworker really likes it and she was humming and he was like yeah and that triggered it so it's like once again the interesting triggers that are probably going to pop up more and more throughout the season of uh, the eye situation is definitely going to be interesting, but understanding why he's doing it too, like uh, he has that notebook full of stuff and he's referencing like, was it Freud and Socrates? And I think Pluto, I'm like, I, I don't like, I'm not understanding why he's doing what he's doing. He also had that ending where it's like, Oh, mother it has father and a date. It has like what something, and then it's like January what twenty first to the twenty third, and then the mothers is like uh, February, and then I'm like, what are the dates about? I don't get that. And then like you see the picture of a, a a man and a woman, and then you have like he basically like pasted a picture. I'm assuming of a young him there, and you're like, is that him not having much of a childhood? Um, and he wants to seem normal or something. I don't. I don't get what that's about. Because there's a drawing in the books he has. I'm assuming is his drawings are just like it's kind of a parallel to that photo. Uh, instead, it's instead of like a detailed picture of the child. It's like silhouetted like drawings of like the adult and the child. So I don't know what that's about. Uh, just parent abandonment issues kind of makes him want to kill people. I don't know, like, there's some twisted artiste reason why he's doing it, but, like, understanding the psychology beyond, like, why are you, what, especially because, like, what he's doing, like, because there's also, like, the symbol he leaves on them is connected to, like, some astro astrological stuff. Um, it's like that little, it's almost like a P, but it's, like, got, a, like, a little fancy, fa fanciness to it, so... I don't know. That's definitely going to be interesting to figure, see where all that kind of goes. Setting up a lot of threads, obviously, as we'll go through, we'll kind of piece stuff together, figuring out like how it all works out, where all this is going. Um, Dong Su, at the very end of the episode, is outside of where uh, Jin Xiao, uh works, but obviously, it's not going to be that easy to get your eye back, especially because the police are now looking at you as a suspect because Detective Cho's nose bled, and he's like, right. Uh, you you are kind of important to this, which you are. You're kind of smack dab in the middle of this. And once again, just so many moving threads, and I'm interested to see how they all, pun intended, uh, connect. You know, so we'll ultimately have to wait and see where all this ends up taking us going forward into the next episode. 
Uh, but really, that's all I want to talk about. Till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day, and goodbye.